everyone. We're Two Crafty Sheilas. I'm Belle and Loz is here with me as well. Today we're going to do our finishes for the last couple of months, so September and October of 2024, and we'll also show you the books that we're working on. Um, so I'll start off. We actually have heaps and heaps of whips. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, heaps and heaps of finishes today. Look at us go. Oh, no, it's um, the first, isn't it? It's so many. <laughs> I'm so proud of us. Like, yeah. we look like <laughs> this craft. <That's> right. <laughs> so, so just to put it in perspective, I've got six finishes. Loz has got four. Look oh, at her go. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and we've also got a couple of whips that we're going to talk about for this month. So I'll start us off. So this is a paint gem kit. This one's called Space Edition. It's so cute. I love that they're just really, really small, cute little images. Um, I took these the last time I went away. This seems to be my go-to. If I go away, I take a minis kit. Um, <laughs> but... They're really, really good for travel. So these are just little seven and a half by seven and a half centimeter ones. So they're they're tiny, but you know they're really bright, and I love the colors. So even with space, you know, you expect tons and tons of blacks and dark blues. Look at how bright they are! Like they're great. It's, it's gorgeous. Yeah, they're great. It's not sort of um, a kit that I would go towards, but seeing them finished, it looks amazing. They do. They do. I I'm really enjoying smaller kits at the moment i think they're just what i need it's it's getting hot it's getting busy here you know coming up to christmas time i am just thriving on little kits so you're probably going to see a few more of them out of me for now and then next year when it all calms down i'll get back to the really big ones i promise yeah. um but this is, my <laughs> <laughs> this is my trash so reasonable mm. but not ridiculous for the amount that i had you can see most of them are the blacks so yeah. it's not it's not surprising. Um, I'm not that put off by it. Um, but, like, as far as, like, leftover colours, you know, there's tonnes. Just tonnes. There was no doubt I was going to be able to finish this. Um, so, yeah, I really, I really, really enjoy that kit. Um, so I'm, I'm loving paint at the moment. I'm absolutely loving them. <laughs> um, oh, the next one I get to show you is oh it's gonna be the last time i ever have to say this name it's the italian one <laughs> yes <laughs> okay okay with me for the last time everybody i promise i promise i promise i won't have to butcher it again okay and i'm just trying to do it so i don't miss this <laughs> that is such an incredible painting it is beautiful. Um, sorry, I'm just pulling out my leftover beads. That's the problem with having six finishes is I've got too many containers now. Um, <laughs> look, <I'm not> <laughs> <laughs> so here's my container. Again, you can see I had heaps of colours left over. Like there was no doubt I was going to run out of any. I wasn't going to run out of anything. Um, Trash-wise, considering the size of the kit, that's it. That is Unreal, and it's a dreamer design. It's a oh, dreamer design, and it's an older kit. You know, like we know that everyone has been working on their drill quality. This is one of their old original ones. Like you can see from that little sticker, it was just a long strip that I had to cut out each of the colours. Like they weren't yeah. even pre-cut stickers. You know, it is an older kit. Um, oh, but it, wow! You know, this is okay. Oh, bear with me. It is. La Scale Trella Casse by Guidi Borello with Dream Designs. That's it. I'm done. Not saying it again. You're done. No more. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, probably it's the best pronunciation yet. <laughs> so much practice at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh, and I forgot to tell you, with the space edition of the paint jam, I started on the 3rd of September. I finished it on the 13th. Like, I really wasn't slamming it out, so it wasn't hard. Um, this one, my Dreamer Designs one that I don't have to ever say again, is I started it on the 1st of June. Oh, my God, that sounds so, so terrible. And I finished it on the 25th of September, so it took me nearly four months. That's awful. when you think about it, the type of kit that it is, you do need the breaks from it, don't you? You don't want to be... Yeah. Um, oh, very much so. Um, you know, the 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 detail of it, like there really wasn't a lot of colour blocking. Like you would have hated this kit, Loz. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. 
I, I love it and I love the end result and I'm glad I've done it. But it, it did take a little while to do it. Uh, and I think it was just that that confetti. Um, but look, the way that it's come out, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, there really wasn't that much trash. And even in that trash, probably half of them were actually just ones that I dropped or missed putting them back in the container. I didn't know which colour they were. Yeah. And they, so they weren't in the plastic. Like there really, really yeah. wasn't much. Um, this is my first ever Dreamer Designs round design. Um, so I'm just trying to move it over so you can see some of those colours. Um, and it was an older kit. It was just, it was really, really nice to work on. I was quite surprised. Um, I did find, I wasn't concerned that it's going to fray. You know, it has been, it has been edged. But like you can see here, the yeah. edging is just fraying. Um, and yeah. it's, it's all around it. It's all around, all the sides have it. Um, so I'm going to have to cut them out and just make sure. I mean, like, they've, there's, I don't know what they call it, but they've got, like, all the little stop points to stop it from fraying. So it's it's finished. I think that's what they call it. Finished Sounds right. poked, whatever they say, yeah. Yeah, they've definitely been poked, let's say that. Um, so it's it's not going to keep fraying, but, yeah, what is there is fraying, which, which is a bit frustrating, but I can cut that. That's fine. It's not a problem at yeah. all. Yeah, it was a 90 by 60 centimetre. So decent size kit, really. Um, yeah. I'm so glad I've done it. I'm so, so glad I've done it. Um, but, yeah, that's awesome. first two. Look, yours was. Oh, it just caught me mid-flip. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. That's all right. I'll forgive you. This one <laughs> is my first finish for the last two months, and I – Plan on doing a dedicated post review for this one. Um, this was my first kit that I've done from Art and Soul. Uh, it is a Hannah Lynn and it's called DD. So we do have an unboxing of this one that we can link in the description if you'd like. But this one was incredible. It's made me fall in love with the Art and Soul kits. I enjoyed every second of this bit. I I started this on on the 7th of September and I finished it on the 17th. So bear in mind, like I work full time, I have kids, I don't get much time to do it. So smashing it out in 10 days <laughs> was awesome for me. Um, so this one is a 51 by 71 centimetre. It is around and it has three ABs and two cell dust. So it was just an incredible kit the glue was amazing the drills were amazing i'll tell you out of this whole thing this was my trash that's it that's like, it nothing. that is it that is so good yeah the grit the, the diamonds were incredible it was such an amazing experience and it was pretty much pure color blocking <laughs> so i was in heaven um, absolutely heaven. The, this was my 11th finish for the year and all I've written in my notes was that I loved it. So <laughs> this is, yeah. I've got nothing else to say. She is incredible. The rendering is amazing. It, it, it was just so nice to work on. So I will do a dedicated post review one day <laughs> when we get around to it. Um, but I very highly recommend Art and Soul. Um, if you haven't heard of them they're an amazing new company and they're well worth getting um checking them out so oh yeah and watch for some upcoming videos for them too we will that would be exciting thing mm. <laughs> next one this one yep. is let's see if i got that right ice princess Version oh one, gorgeous i think it was let me just check yeah so first edition so they released this one's from diamond art club and by Hannah Lynn. So I did two Hannah Lynn kits this, this, um, these two months. Um, what's her size? And I'm looking two different companies. Yeah, two different companies. That's right. So I think I prefer the other rendering, to be honest, the Art and Soul rendering, even though mm. it's different kits. But this one was nice. I, I did enjoy working on this one. This is the first edition. So they have released another one that is just like the top half of her. So it doesn't include the whole dress and the snow oh, leopard. I, I have um, never looked into what the difference between the first and second edition was. But okay, so they, yeah. they just did a yeah. paper. Yeah, so it's just like that really. 
Oh, that's like your first okay. edition. Or second edition, sorry. And that's yeah. your, your first. So yeah. they're the only difference between the two. I quite like this full one, actually. It gives so much uh, nicer detail for her dress. Like, it, it was quite confetti. Mm -hmm. It really was. And it like to some people, it would be nothing. But to me, I wasn't really enjoying the confetti and I did stop this one for a while. So I did start this one on the 28th of July and I didn't finish it until the 23rd of September. So, wow. but I did some kids, like I did DD in between and I, I did other stuff because I just wasn't enjoying the confetti, but she's turned out beautiful. And I think I got these ones for my daughter, so. Yeah, this one was nice. Mm -hmm. Typical quality for Diamond Art Club. It's one of the older kits, but um, I did keep my trash and stuff. Look at me go. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> This is the trash oh, I got with this one. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, not much at all. So, it's not here. Yeah, so it's such a nice kit. And it was around, so it did go, go pretty easy and... Yeah, yeah, it was just like a normal kit for me. <laughs> it meant, I love it. Not as exciting as my other one, but still, still nice. Yeah, it's still beautiful. Right, I over to you. Thank you. Oh, All righty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next couple of kits for me. Um, so this one is Halloween Gnome and Cat. This is also a Dreamer Designs. And this was the first one I bought from the overseas collection. So this is only a, quite a new release this year. Um, what I didn't mention in the unboxing, I didn't think of it at the time, is the advantage with the overseas collection is you can choose whether you get them as round or square. Um, so they do show you both rendering options so that you can pick which one. Now, Loz and I went back and forth on this one. She helped me pick. Um, and we actually decided that the cat's eyes looked weird in the square. So yeah. we ended up going with the round. And I'm yeah. so glad I did. It looks amazing. Um, so this one, I started on the 25th of September and I finished it on the 2nd of October. Now, does that not tell you how much I love this kit? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, so it had 48 colours. It had, of those, three were ABs and six were rhinestones. Oh, my gosh. So many rhinestones. Oh, um, and I did find, now, this is the first time I have, like, really, really worked with rhinestones on a regular kit. I don't know whether it's normal that they seem to be just a tiny little bit bigger than the normal round drills. So the fact that there's huge chunks of, of colour blocking in the rhinestones. There are patches where it looks like it just doesn't fit properly on the canvas. So I was a little bit frustrated with that. Like I can still see it. I'm going to zoom it. I'm going to bring it up. Um, so like sections here where it looks yeah. like the lines just haven't gone as straight and it's just because they physically can't fit i'm guessing one maybe has a little tab that i can't obviously see so i'm gonna have to sort of pull it out and fix it because it is driving me insane um <laughs> but, but i think it was just the the amount of them because they obviously take up the entire round circle whereas with normal rounds you do get a little bit of wiggle room um so yeah so it was just i had to learn to work with it was new for me um, nice. But yeah, yeah. you can see like that entire moon, patches of his beard, you know, the, some of the red in the hat and around some of the leaves and, you know, the, the faces in the jack-o'-lanterns and the stars, all rhinestones. Like this kit would probably be half rhinestones. It's it was, incredible. Yeah. Oh, absolutely amazing. And I, I have tried so many different ways to take photos and I cannot get the camera to pick up the shine of this kit. I've tried taking it in sunlight. All sorts of things. I just can't. I can't get my my camera to pick it up. That's the unfortunate thing with cameras now is they're designed to try and reduce the glare and the shine in things. So, darn new technology for trying to be so efficient. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it took me eight days. It just took me eight days. Um, it came because it was the overseas kit. Instead of the little um, pre-made like the sealed packets that we usually see with Dream Designs and Diamond Art Club and things, it came in these little Ziploc bags. Um, so this is how they came. They just had a one on it. Um, so I decided I was just going to use this 
see how they go. Um, so this little container, it's actually a tea caddy and I 3D printed it myself. So oh, I thought, nice. why not? Yep. Use it for this, um, and because as you saw, it only had the number on it, so I ended up just keeping the original sticker sheet with it so that I could refer back. Um, I had said in previous videos that I found these stickers stick a little too well, and I didn't want to waste them on the baggies because I do keep my spares and I keep them in plastic containers, so I wanted to be able to reuse these stickers. So I just personally opted to keep it with the kit, um, so that I could cross reference what I needed to use. Yeah. Um, okay. But I forgot to mention in the previous two, this was this one here is my 20th finish for 2004 and my first finish for October. Nice. I love that kit. I've still got to get it. I see it there all it the is, time. Yeah, and, I mean, like, I know you're not a huge fan of Halloween, but, I mean, it's just yeah. a cute kit and that bling is just unreal. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love Absolutely, it. I mean, it's the cat. I think it's the cat that does it for me. Yes, that cat like is cat. absolutely adorable. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and I love the fact that that particular kit finished my current notebook of all of my whips and things. So I loved that oh. I then had to change it. It finished me off. Um, but this is my next one. Yep. Oh, I love that. Cute as a button. Of course it's cute as a button because it's so cute. <laughs> so it is called Cute as a Button. It's a diamond art club because it is a Randall Spangler. He is by far my favourite. I adore his artwork. Laws don't say a word. <laughs> <I'm obsessed>. <laughs> <laughs> I um, You'll have to watch our, our recent Whip and Chat. Um, I've, I had a little bit of a very up and down emotionally week and I may have bought a few stashes and we're not going to talk about how many of them okay so this is a <laughs> it wasn't Sorry. that many it was, it was like 18 but anyway let's move on, <laughs> um, <laughs> on. <laughs> uh, so 50.7 by 50.7 centimeter round drills um 45 colors of which two were ab's and two were fairy dust i started this on the 2nd of october and i finished it on the 9th of october so again wow. eight days Loved, loved this kit. Um, these colours are just spectacular and that image is just adorable. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> the little bit of grass on it. Um, sorry. Sorry for the loud noises. This was the container that I used. Um, this is how much trash I had. So probably a little bit more than normal but more still not for Yeah. Yeah. Um, but not horrendous. Like, I can tolerate that. Again, oh, my gosh, static. Static is my worst nightmare at the moment. Um, or you static with diamond art club, I should say. It's, I had dryer sheets. So I had 45 colours. Forty, uh, 14 of them need dryer sheets in them. Yeah. So almost a third of these needed dryer sheets. And so I left them in there. Like, it was just horrific trying to do them. Um, drove me up the wall, but I, oh my gosh, I just love this kit. You can see again, like just so many leftovers. You can see all the dryer sheets still in there. Um, but just beautiful, beautiful colors, beautiful colors. Um, so I adored that one. Um, so was that one for me, it was around. Yeah. Yeah. I ended up getting quite a lot of rounds for some reason. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yep, where we ended up doing for these finishes of the paint gem ones. I have done a lot of rounds. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that was my 24th finish for 2024 and my second finish for October. Um, over nice. to you. Yeah. And there's my beautiful Nefertiti. Uh, I, this is beautiful. my... The beautiful, it has to be said. So this is Nefertiti by Mandy Manzano. Um, it's from Diamond Art Club and it was one of my, you know, 2021 kits that I've sort of been working on this year. <laughs> um, I have been wanting to do this for so long but just never really had the time or thought about it. And and while I've, you'll see my current whip, I, I, I kind of got decided to do a round at the same time with my, with Herbert, my Rainbow Dragon. But I kind of got addicted to this one and just finished this one instead. 
This is my plan was yeah. to go in between. In between the two, have a break from the squares, go into Nefertiti. But yeah, but that didn't work. I loved it. The <laughs> color block here. That the, um, be a thing for you, Loz. <laughs> I, I just can't have heaps of whips. I tell you, it, it just drives me crazy. And I'm, I'm, I'm back to normal now, so I'm kind of happy. Um, so this <laughs> one is I started it on the 1st of October and finished it on the 13th. It is my wow. finish for the year. Um, it had only one AB, but it did have quite a few of those special drills. Mm. So they do like the bigger ones and I think like you can see there. Now with her <laughs> eyes, I have to show you. With her eyes, they were meant to be like, like this AB here, but just the plain colour. And I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't think that was nice at all. So I went scourging through my drawer and I found these clear crystals. So, I love it. Yeah, I just decided, I thought that would be a nice way to sort of, I didn't want her to have normal looking eyes. I just thought, well, she's a god. So whatever she is, she um, deserved to be like amazing and blinged out. So mm -hmm. that's what I did with her. Um, what was the size? Yeah, 32 centimetres by 58 centimetres. Just incredible. And it's like mirrored. So whatever I did on this side, I did it the opposite way over there. And it was That's beautiful. beautiful. This was my trash. I had a oh, that's with the black. Good, okay. Yeah. So this is like, you know, back with DSC before they did all their upgrades back in 2021. So there wasn't much, yeah. but, like, the three tens was pretty terrible. Yeah. But I can see you've awesome. got shards and those tiny little yeah. fractured bits. and the little, these little, little teeny tiny flea little mm. bits. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a fun one to work on. But my next one, i got to tell you, it was a difficult, and Belle will tell you, how much I whinged and complained and wanted to stop doing this kit because I couldn't handle the confetti. Mm. But look at her. Look at she's her. She's, she just comes out beautiful. This is Floral Kitsune by Finiara from the one with the diamond painting. What is it called? The one diamond with the diamond art. art. The one with the diamond art. Sorry, guys. The one with the diamond art. It's incredible. Like, I can't complain about the diamonds, the rendering, the the um, canvas itself. Incredible. But it's just too much confetti for me. There was, like, like her flowers, just chock-a-block full of all these different colours, and I couldn't handle it. But I pushed myself through it. I started this one on the 16th of October and finished it on the 31st. Um, it, what did I say? Drill quality was amazing. Overall rendering ring was amazing. It is computer rendered. And I found that there were some sort of really unnecessary colours that could have been taken out. But uh, I'm happy with how she looks overall. Mm. And it was, She's it was a nice experience. Yeah. There was a left drill there. This was my trash. Hardly anything. Too bad, yeah. Yeah, and because it's only a small one, well, 40 by 50. Yeah. I think we do have an unboxing of this one. And, and I wouldn't mind actually getting some more from this company, but I'm going to be very picky with the rendering, yeah. I think, because it was just, oh. <laughs> yeah. I won't be doing that again. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to have to listen to it again. <laughs> no, it was, it was horrendous. I tell you, I was the biggest. I'm so out. glad you pushed through. It's beautiful. Oh. It's such a gorgeous kit. It is gorgeous. And I really, really love the overall effect of it. And like the colours didn't bother me, but um yeah, the overall looks amazing. I do highly recommend it if you like confetti. But if you like me, don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. If if you don't like confetti, watch laws. If you like confetti, watch me. Because exactly. we yeah. are completely the opposite. Exactly. That's why we work so well together. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yes. A wide range yeah. of taste. But yeah. no, I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, she's gorgeous. So I'm glad I, I I'm glad I got it. But yeah. Please, if I ever say I want to buy something like this again, you know what to say. Everybody say no. 
What's the rendering? <laughs> yes. Show me the rendering first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So my oh, next one. Is <laughs> Cute little thing. Um, now, I am going to call it a finish. I know it's a little bit of a cop-out. Um, I did an unboxing video on a Kaiser Craft haul that I had where I had 50 gazillion different kits. Um, so I actually did this one um, to have an included finish in it. So there is a time lapse of me doing this one. Um, and I actually also used it for a little video on some of the different storage containers that you can use. So I'll try and remember to link those in the description as well. Um, this one, I obviously did it in one sitting. So I started on the 9th of October and I finished it on the 9th of October. Funny that. Um, <laughs> it, was just, it was just a really fun little project. There's 10 colours and eight of them were rhinestones. So the black for the nose and the the pupils of the eyes were just your normal 310 and your whites around the eyes are your 5200. But other than that, they were all rhinestones. Um, the glue was actually pretty good considering and like there's not heaps of it that spilled over. Like I'm actually not that worried about dirt and debris around the edge of it, like where you can with some of them. It was pretty good. Um, it was my 22nd finish for 2024 and my third finish for October, but I will just show you what I had. I actually didn't have any Tic Tac containers left over, so I had to use this big <laughs> mirror. Um, so it was a little bit of overkill, but <laughs> cause I only used that many. Um, but like the only one I was concerned about was, uh, this one, number three. Um, which was a symbol three, I actually ran out and I was one short. So I did have to use a trash drill um, as my as my final drill. Um, but I had had five or six trash drills in that colour. So I just picked the best one and used it to go down. Other than that, there were no concerns. Um, and the trash that I actually kept was two. Um, oh, yeah. The others were generally like I dropped them and I just sort of put them away um so i really didn't have much of an issue the only thing i was a bit upset about was that i had to actually run out of one color but it was pretty cute i was pretty happy with that mm. means that when i've used up my new notebook i already have a notebook for the next one that's it yeah, so, yeah. That's so, so cute. <laughs> and my last one now i just wanted a little kit to get me through because i knew i was getting a D stash for one of the whips that I'm going to show you. This is not licensed artwork. It's just a stock photo though, but this is a cheapy kit. So I'm going to include it in my finishes and I think it will kind of also show to a certain extent, you get what you paid for. So mm. this is just a little one called, well, which it doesn't even have a name. I called it Poppies um, because we are coming up on Remembrance Day. For us, that's actually going to be tomorrow. Um, but by the time I put this video up, it's probably going to be last week for you guys. Um, so this is, it's a cute little kit. I did get it before I started buying the more expensive kits. It's a 30 by 40. Um, it had 22 colours. And so I can say, you know, you can tell with 22 colours, you don't get the same colour definition. You don't get the same rendering and, and all the rest of it. They just They just don't have that pop to it that, that the other ones do. Um, I would say that the glue was actually pretty good. I really didn't have any issues with the glue. It wasn't drills sliding. I didn't have drills falling off. It was it was actually pretty good. Um, and there was quite minimal trash, really, which I'll pull out in a second. Um, I started it on the 10th of October and I finished it on the 16th of October. It was my 23rd finish for 2024 and my fourth finish for October. Awesome. All right, so it is pretty, isn't it? I would like uh, it, to get a poppy one. That was the thing is it's really, really hard to find kits from licensed companies where yeah. they've got this sort of stuff that doesn't have, I'm going to say, like the, the soldiers, the armed forces in it. I just wanted something of the flowers that was a little bit more subtle. Um, and I really haven't found one in the, the licensed companies that just have this sort of a thing. So it was sort of that trade-off for me. And it was, like I said, also before I started with the, the premium companies. Um, Trash-wise, that's it. 
Wow. Yeah. Well, that's not bad for one of those cheapy companies, though. Yeah. It, that's what I thought. Like, I was quite pleasantly surprised. Um, and you can see, like, tons and tons and tons of colours left over. Definitely no issues with going to be um, running out. So I can't completely complain, really. But yeah. I will say, you get what you pay for. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm happy that I'm working through my cheapy ones so that I can get them out of my stash, but I definitely won't be going back. Nah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but I think that's all of our finishes now. So yeah. we'll start putting you some of our whips. I'll pass over to look. So this one, we all know I packed it away and didn't want to do it anymore. So I put this one away in on, when was it? The 24th of March this year. So I want to get it done. I probably will try to push through. I forgot I had this one, so that's why I'm showing it from my log book. So this one is Forest Sprite and it's a Christine Karen from Diamond Art Club and I purchased this one back in 2022. So um, I, I think in the painting, I think I'm only, I've only done this little part. So I haven't done much at all. I wasn't enjoying the confetti, so that's why I did put it away. So I have it there. I don't know if I'm going to get to it by the end of the year. It might be something I'll push through next year, but that is one of my, um, one of my whips I have. But this mm -hmm. one... We all know I'm working on this one. Beautiful. This amazing. This is Rainbow Jag Dragon, a.k.a. Herbert. Look at my Herbert. Isn't he incredible? He is um, beautiful. This is one of the ones I was absolutely panicking about the colour blocking. But I can tell you, I'm not, oh, oh there's not the colour blocking, the confetti. I am not phased by it at all. I tell you, Good. it's it, it has been quite a fair bit through these areas, but now I'm coming up to his scales and I only have two rows to go because I've done the bottom. This is all pretty much colour blocking. So I love it. Apart from a few little bits, um, this one I'm hoping I should get done by for the end of November and um, I'm just impressed with how well it's going. I'm loving this kit. It's my second dream of designs I've done and I tell you, it's so impressive. I have a lot of um, trash. Um, it's over in my drill container. I didn't bring it over at the moment. But with the darker kit, you know, darker drills, you kind of expect that sort of thing. I'm not really phased mm. by it. I have so many drills, it's ridiculous. So, But even um, if you did bring that, it's not like you're going to be short of 310 anywhere else anyway. Nah. That's right, yeah. And, and, like, I know you see a lot of reviews about the gapping and but, like, can't even see it. Like, I, no, I've had no No, that's issues. the biggest thing. Yeah, it, it does not bother like, me. Like, you're aware one. of it when you're doing it. Exactly. No, you're, you're aware so of it when you do it, but as soon as you step back, beautiful. But, like, the A, B in this, look at this. This, it's just incredible. Oh. The way it just sparkles, I'm loving it. It's I love really how that's looking. So it is looking so good. It suits dry, um, Dreamer Designs. It really does. I couldn't imagine another company doing this, but it's, mm. it's not usually my type, but the colours are. The colours are what I, I was drawn to, and yeah. coming down into yeah. this bit, I am looking forward to it, so... Um, it's a nice place to sort of finish on. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like... Mm. So this one will be done for our next show and tell. And, um, yeah, Ooh. that's about it for me. Oh, I've got no other whips. <laughs> that we don't talk about Crazy Cat Lady? Nobody talks about Crazy Cat Lady. <laughs> how big is Herbert? Oh, how big? he's um, 60 by 90. Okay. So the same oh, size same size as your Italian. Yeah, as your Italian one. Yeah. Go on, you try and say it. Go on. I you laugh at me I... saying it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't put myself in that situation. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> That's why I give them names. <laughs> Sorry, true. I totally should have done that. I, I didn't yeah. get the Italian one. The Italian mm -hmm. one. <laughs> yeah. 
All righty. So my last two whips. So this one is a Diamond Art Club. I did get it on a D stash and I did do an unboxing because it came to me completely sealed. Um, now, what I didn't realise when I did the unboxing, and Loz probably had a giggle when she saw my message, I this kit's been around for a while, but it obviously had a remake with the new Diamond Art Club because it has the perforated um, top, oh. which I didn't realise when I unboxed it because I didn't go looking for it. I no. assumed it was just the old one. Um, yeah. So I started to, to kit up and I was doing like my edging, um, my washi tape border, and I went to start um, measuring up so that I could do the, um, like the washi tape sectioning. And I was like, I don't have to. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and it was, it was just very bizarre. It was not what I expected. So I thought I'm going to try it as the um, perforated edging um, just to see what it's like. I do agree with you, Loz. The sections are probably a little bit on the small side. But, look, yeah. last night when I was working on it, I just opened two sections instead of one. So you can work yeah. around it, but it just it wasn't the size that I usually work with. So I, I do understand what you were saying when, you, when you've worked with this previously. Yeah. Um, so this is around, it's by Ola Darchuk, Darchuk. Oh, my gosh. Um, it's a 61 <laughs> by 51 like centimetre. Oh, these, these names are just sorry. going to haunt me. I am so sorry to the artist for saying their name incorrectly. I apologise a million times over. I just, I need to find kids that have really easy names. I'm just, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. get some yeah. dumb Smiths. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll stick to my Spanglers. I'll be good. I'll be good. Yeah, yeah, you know um, that one. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, so I started this 21st of October. I'm obviously still working on it. I don't know why. I think just with everything that's been going on, um, I sort of lost my mojo a little bit. And this is quite confetti heavy, as you can see and you can imagine. Um, so I just, I struggled. It did get put away twice for almost a week um so realistically this is only about six or seven days worth of work it's it's just that it's taken me a long time to do that um realistically at the end of october i think i would basically done like just these top sections i think all of this i've done since november has started um but i'm hoping to finish this one very 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 soon so that i can then get on to my christmas one which is going to be Another one that you're going to give me absolute agony about, Loz. I don't do that. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this beauty. Oh, yes. Okay, so you can Got see I am um, this one. You can see I'm exactly halfway, um, and this thing is so big. It is a ninety by seventy. Um, it's a Diamond Art Club as well. It's a Nikki. Boem, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Nikki. I do not know how to pronounce your last name properly. Um, <laughs> it's a square drill. Um, I started this on the 3rd of December 2023 in a D stash buy. Um, yep, we're just, we're not going to dwell on that date. Um, no. This one will be the last thing in my old logbook that I have to finish writing up on, and then I can be completely over into my new mum. So I'm hoping I'll finish working on this one in at least starting in this month and hopefully even maybe finishing it, otherwise early in December. But just look at the colours. It's incredible. You know, I'm sorry for bumping it. Um, you know, the definition is just phenomenal. I absolutely love this kit. I don't know why it's taking me so long. I wish it wasn't, but, um, but yeah. But you don't I think really feel like working on a Christmas kit when it's not Christmas. You know? No, I'd be but to be honest, I don't really feel like working on a Christmas kit at the moment. It's like, what, mid to high 30s already? I'm sweating. Yeah. Like, look at it, snow is, you know, you'd think it would make me cool down. It just makes me wish I wasn't here. <laughs> exactly. Yep, oh, I get that. Yep, totally. It's just so hard. And I look at this fireplace and I'm just like, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> I know, I know it's snowing, but oh my gosh, it's it's just too hot. It's too hot. So yeah, this beautiful, beautiful kit. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting in and oops, and finishing this kit by the time we do our next finishes video. So that would That's be good. Cool. Just like yours, your kit that will not be named. This one we are just going to move on from. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> All righty. So yeah, and then we're going to start looking at next year what we're going to end up doing for um, our mystery kit. Oh, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm I'm keen to do one. We'll make sure that we have plenty of other whips going simultaneously, guys, because we, we won't do too much of the spoilers. We probably no. will show it in our finishes whenever we do it, but we will hide it behind so many different things so that you've got time to skip over it, and I'll put up times to skip to if you don't want to see the mystery stuff. So we, we will yeah. make sure that it's hidden for those that don't want to see it, but we do want to share it for those that do want to see what we've managed to do. Yeah, I've been avoiding so many story, like videos about the one I got. I know I know the picture, but I don't know yep. it in depth. I've forgotten, so it's yep. it's good. Yeah. Yep, I know what you mean. I um I because I was sort of like, oh, I probably won't ever get a mystery kit because the one that I wanted, um, I found Diamond Art Club after the Randall Spangler, um, mystery kit. And yeah. I thought if I was going to get a mystery kit, that's the one that I would get. I have never seen the image and I don't want to know the image until I've done it. Um, but mm. that was the one that I was like, oh, I wish I could. But, of course, they don't re-release mystery kits. So I was like, oh, well, I'm never going to get one. So I watched a couple of uh, mystery kit box unboxing videos where they, they did a whole heap of spoiler alerts and everything. That was fine. And I watched it. And one of them was the Ann Stokes one. And that's one that I ended up getting. So... Yeah. I'm the same as you. I know the image. I don't really know it in depth. I've seen it once and I've sort of half forgotten it and that's the way I want to keep it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I am happy that I also did manage to get my Randall Spangler mystery kit in a D stash and <laughs> I did buy the new one earlier this year. So I have three oh, mystery nice. kits in my collection. <laughs> so I better like a mystery kit. <laughs> Gosh. Randall Spangler should sponsor you. <laughs> I swear, I swear. He should, just, he should just arrange that I do all his unboxings. I'll do I'll do all the stuff. Oh, my gosh, I love his kids. I, um, after my big <laughs> stash buy this last week, I've worked out that I've still got, I think, about 45 that Diamond Art Club have released that I haven't bought yet. Um, wow. But I've got a there is a lot, but I've got about the same in my stash. So <laughs> I'm about halfway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see that, guys? This is why we're never going to do a stash video. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, there's about 30, 35 Randall Spanglers in my stash. So you can imagine how many others I have. <laughs> and I think I've only got two. <laughs> two left. <laughs> Well, I did you tell just you three of mine, didn't I? I think I, yeah, you did. That's initially you how did. we met. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, what do you got? Sorry, tell us in the description down in the description in the comments down below. What have you done in the last two months, and what are you working on? Did you do any of the kits that we've done or working on? Tell us all the things down below. Um, but otherwise, we hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you liked it and if you do like our crazy and our squirreling where we go down those rabbit holes, um, don't forget to subscribe and then hit the little bell so you get notified when we do upload new videos. But other than that, I hope you guys have a really, really great week. Happy diamond painting. And we'll see you in a video very soon. Bye. See you later, guys.